Hey everyone, this is Sandwich01 again. Uh, this is going to be the next video in my Linksys Mod Maker tutorial series. This one is going over items. So, uh, first thing you want to do is start with New and then click Item. Oh, and it, it will come up with this drop down menu right here. And so, there is Armor, yeah, armor Material, Tool Material, and just Item. So, I'm going to go over. Uh, armor material in a different video but I will go over tool material in this one but I'm gonna fa focus mainly on items so when you click item it comes up with a new item window uh, it's fairly similar to the block new block window in some ways so the first thing right here is the coding name of the item so I am going to be making redstone t uh, redstone tools in this mod but I'm gonna start by making the redstone ingot um, so I'm just going to put that in there, and the display name, what you see when you put the mouse over the item in the inventory. Just put redstone ingot. So right here, the image texture. going to hit browse to go get my file. And um, just want to say right now that there is going to be a video that goes over um, making textures for items and blocks. So if you're having trouble with that, you can go watch that video um, once I once all these tutorials are finished I'm gonna record that so right here redstone ingot um, tool type this is if you want to make this particular item a tool you can select what kind of tool it is and it's gonna have a durability depending it's gonna have durability and a bunch of other things like the damage it does to mobs how efficient it is at breaking blocks depending on the tool material you pick and you can make a custom one of that which I'm gonna go over later but anyways I don't want this to be a tool so I'm not even gonna do that so fuel value I don't want this to smell anything and creative tab I'm just gonna put this with redstone um, and also there's the food um, item settings over here I can go over that next when I make my redstone food which sounds kinda disgusting so you press create and now in the items tab I have the redstone ingot I have the same settings right here I can open th that the uh, new the new item menu well now it's edit item so I can change the settings if I need to um, and so I can also delete that so I'm gonna create my redstone food item right now and uh, then I'll start making the tools so Start it off. These are going to be redstone cookies, and I'm not going to put an S there because I don't want to confuse myself later. So redstone cookie is the display name. I've got a texture prepared for it, and it's not going to have a fuel value. It's going to be in the redstone tab. Um, so now is the part where I uh, change the food settings. So saturation. Um, and food value so if you understand how food works in minecraft food value is when you have units of food in your hunger bar that you've lost and you eat this particular item it's going to increase by whatever I set this as so if I put this as one um, then I'm pretty sure this will only heal half unit because um, as you can see right here it says amount of half food spots replenished so if I had this as one and you ate it, it'd only restore half a unit. And if I did it as two, it'd restore a whole unit. So four would be two units, and this would be 1.5. So I'm just going to have this restore two units of hunger per, per cookie that's eaten. Um, stack size, I'll just, I can just put it as 64. Stack size is obviously just um, up to what number you can stack this item. Um, so it'll just be full 64. Saturation. It also has to do with your hunger. If you eat any food in Minecraft, not only does it restore units of hunger, but there's also background, which is saturation. Um, this is how long, basically, like when you eat this food, it will set it to how long before you start losing food units again. So if I set this really high, it would make it so after I eat one cookie, it would take a long time for me to start losing or start starving again. Uh, so I'm pretty... I'm not sure how high it would be if I set it as 4. That might actually be really high. Um, but 
you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just put it as two. So now that's created, um, I'm going to go on now to make the redstone tools. So when you open this up, it will, um, I'll just put redstone pickaxe to start it off. I'm going to make a redstone tool for every type of tool that's already in the game. So it's going to be pretty straightforward for this part right here. I'm just going to be putting a texture in. Redstone pick. Um, not going to have a fuel value. It's going to be in the redstone tab. And this is where I actually make it a tool. It's going to be a pickaxe. And um, right now, since I have not created the custom redstone material, I'm just going to put it as diamond. So this will basically give it the properties of a diamond pickaxe. It's just made out of a different material and it has a different texture. But I'm going to change it later so that it's more customized. So create that. Um, and so I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to make every tool, but I don't want to record that because it's just going to be pretty much the same thing. The only thing's different is I'm going to be selecting different tools from the drop down menu. But before I do that, I'm going to make the tool material so that I can assign each one of those tools with the correct material. So when you start off, you just got to name your material. I'll just name this redstone material. Um, the harvest level in Minecraft, when you have a pickaxe, uh, that's just the example I'm going to use. When you have a pickaxe, say um, a stone one, there's certain blocks that if you mine that block with that pickaxe, it just won't drop anything. Uh, so a wood pickaxe basically can't mine certain ores like gold ore. An iron pickaxe could mine gold ore. So when you change the harvest level, you can change um, the uh, the level or like the tier of blocks that can be harvested. So like iron this could harvest anything that a regular iron pickaxe could harvest and diamond pickaxe could pretty much harvest anything. So I'm just going to have it um, with the properties of a diamond pick as far as harvest level. Uses, um, this number represents the number of blocks that you can mine before the tool breaks or in the case of a sword the amount of hits you can deal before the sword breaks. So if you hold your mouse over this, you'll see the um, durability or the uses for all the regular pickaxes in the game. Um, so as you can see, diamond has a lot. It's over 1,000. It's over 9,000? Yeah, it's <laughs> over 1,000. And so um, I'm going to change it to be in between uh, iron and stone. So I'm going to make it 150 because as you can see, that's that's right in the middle there. Um, so efficiency, this is how fast um, the pickaxe will break a block or the shovel if you um, change it for a shovel. Uh, so this goes against the hardness of the block to create how fast you can break that block. Um, you can also hold this to see how fast tools are. Um, gold obviously breaks a lot faster than diamond actually. Um, and so I will, I'll put it between stone and iron, I'll put it as 5. Entity damage, this is for swords. Um, you cannot actually change this like in between intervals. You can have one, two, three, or zero. Um, so if I have it as zero, um, a redstone sword with redstone material is going to pretty much have the same amount of damage that it can deal as a wood sword, but I can change aspects of that material such as the uses. So it's not going to be the exact same thing as a wood sword because I can make it last a lot longer and I can make it actually more enchantable which I'm going to go over right now. So I'm actually going to make that about two so that it's the equivalent of a stone sword. So enchantability, the higher this is the more likely that tool is to get uh, a better enchantment with less levels. So if you hold you can also see the enchantability of all the different things in the game. So I'm going to put it between stone and iron so I'm going to put it around uh, Eight. Seems pretty reasonable to me. Um, but I've actually been informed that I'm not sure if this has been fixed since the last time he told me about links. He told me that tool enchantments are not working at the moment, so you cannot enchant tools. They're supposed to work, um, but right now it's a bug. And you can enchant armor though, which I'm going to go over armor in the next tutorial. So. Now we've created the redstone material, so I can go into my items list, pick out the redstone pickaxe, go into edit, and I can change the tool material that um, it has 
right here now redstone material so this is going to have the properties that I just assigned any tool with the redstone material um, will have those same properties so uh, now I'm gonna stop recording and I'm just gonna go through and make all the other redstone tools because I don't want to have to make you sit through that um, so I will be back momentarily hi everyone I'm back I've finished making all the redstone tools that are gonna be in this mod I made a redstone version for every tool that is actually in Minecraft and so there are two more items I just want to make and then I will end this tutorial here but before I do that I just want to say that um, right now if I were to have this mod installed you could not really access any of these tools or items because um, I actually haven't given the redstone cookie any way to get into the um, players hands legitimately and I haven't done that for any of these um, so to do that I'm gonna add recipes but I'm gonna do that in the next tutorial but right now I'm going to go and add the last two items for this tutorial so I'm just going to do the new item uh, there's also gonna be I'm going to go over armor items and that sort of thing but that is going to be um, in another tutorial see the armor settings are right here if you click over to this but okay so the first item I'm gonna make is gonna be the redstone rod this is gonna be kinda like a blaze rod made out of redstone and to make it you're gonna be able to put two redstone ingots in a pattern in the crafting table it's gonna be a fuel source it's gonna be better than coal but not as good as blaze rods themselves so I'm just going to name that redstone rod and I've got my texture Uh, so the fuel value, I know that the fuel value of coal is 8, and the fuel value of reds, um, not redstone, blaze rods is 12. So I'm going to set this in between those two, I'm going to set it as 10. So I'm going to make this in the creative mode redstone tab. Uh, so stack size is just going to stay the same. Um, and yeah, that should be it for the redstone rod. Um, the next item I'm going to make is going to be the redstone snowball. This is going to come with an explanation if you watch the mobs tutorial. Um, because when you add mobs, um, I'm going to, as my example mob, it's going to be a hostile redstone snowman uh, who's going to spawn in redstone biomes. Um, so he's going to drop redstone snowballs upon death. And they're not going to have any purpose whatsoever. But I'm just going to show that. So, redstone snowball. And just going to go like that. Um, and since snowballs in the actual game only stack to 16, I'm just going to do that here just to show you the different stack sizes. Okay, so now I've created all the items I want for this um, mod, uh, mod, with the exception of the armor items, which I'm going to create in the armor tutorial so I'm just gonna save quickly and uh, so this is it for the item tutorial thank you for watching I hope this was helpful and I hope you learned something about how to um, make items in the game or in the mod so thank you for watching sandwich one